Hi, I'm Bob the Hippie Gardener. If you're a gardener, come on. Today's topic is going to be compost piles. And what we have here is just what's called the cold method, or the method is just throw everything in a pile kind of thing. And that's what we've done over the year. This has stuff from the cooking scraps, anything that's not meat, any kind of vegetation goes in here. So everything in there, the only kind of uh, close to meat thing we put in there is eggshells. Everything else is just uh, vegetable and, and leaf matter. So this is, takes about a year to break down this way. So what I've done here is I'm gonna try a new method this time. It's called the hot compost method or the Berkeley method. I've never done it before, so this is an experiment. So we'll see how it goes. What, in researching this, what I found out was that you need to figure out what different things you're putting in the pile, there, how much carbon they have versus how much nitrogen they have. Um, so you wanna to try to get a ratio of 25 carbon to one nitrogen. Uh, so things like wood chips, cardboard, sawdust, uh, newspapers, pine needles, corn stalks, leaves, those kinds of things are all what you would call browns or, you know, carbon things. So anything that's brown is a carbon thing. And then the greens are nitrogens, things like weeds, uh, plants, uh, hay, alfalfa, uh, coffee grounds, even though they're not green, they contain a lot of nitrogen, food waste, grass clippings, seaweed, Horse manure, cow manure, alfalfa, and chicken manure are just some of the things that you can use to put the nitrogen in there. So I'm not gonna worry about the exact 25 to one nitrogen ratio. I'm just gonna try to get enough nitrogen in there that the pile gets hot quickly and kind of burns up all the weed seeds. So we'll give it a shot and see what happens. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by putting some of this compost uh, some of these uh, corn stalks in here as a carbon and then we're going to throw in some hay on top of that wet it down keep it wet and then we're going to go with these other materials we have some coffee grounds we have some chicken manure uh, we have some uh, nesting material with chicken manure in it we have some blood meal uh, so these are things that would all be carbon i'm mean, excuse me nitrogen so and then the carbon things are going to be the corn stalks and all the stuff that's in here already kind of half broken down and we got some pine needles over here. Those would be uh, the carbons too. So let's get started. I'm going to start by throwing in some of this. What I've done is uh, use these two windows, uh, two window well opening uh, things that were here when I came to the house. They're made out of plastic. They're indestructible, and I wanted to repurpose them. So I put a couple of uh, posts up, and I just wired them to it to make it round and then I've used it. So now I've moved another set over and I'm gonna flip this pile and add some stuff and make this hot compost pile. And uh, we're gonna have Nate, my son, come in and help me a little bit. He's usually behind the camera, but hey, he's gonna help. So we start with a little bit of this corn stalks down in the bottom of the pile like that. And then we're gonna throw a little bit of nitrogen in it. Here, this is some of the stuff that's Waste from the house. More? Pretty gross, but. It's not it's good. You good? Throw some of this stuff in there. Carrot tops, those kinds of things. Still get a little bit of nitrogen in there. Then I'm going to throw on some alfalfa. Okay. It's warm. And this is already kind of breaking down because we got it wet, so it's already breaking down and already warm. So that's a pretty good layer of, of greens. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some water to this to make sure it's wet. We need moisture for this to happen. And that should be a little bit on up for right now. Then we're going to add some more corn stalks and some other refuse from the garden here. We got some more corn stalks here. And then we're going to throw on some more alfalfa. And 
that's what I'm trying to do here is kind of shift this pile from the old method into the new method at the same time. more carbon and then we're going to get some pine needles over here that we're going to just throw right on top of that for some more carbon with a small layer of that. Is that good? You want more? A little bit more. And another thing that's good uh, carbon, or excuse me, nitrogen source is coffee grounds. And I got a free bag of these from my local coffee shop and I'm just gonna kind of distribute these over the top of the paper in there if I'm done hurt a thing. And then we're gonna add in a little bit of chicken manure. <laughs> No, we're gonna put some more green, okay. some more browns on here. More browns. We got digging in this pile. We're just gonna start pulling this pile. <laughs> on. A lot of corn stalks and stuff in here. Yeah, let let the mussels go. Yeah. Sour. Yep. And we can put some more alfalfa on top of that. hot. <laughs> Starting to heat up already. <laughs> I was fortunate to find a farmer that farms alfalfa organically and I just use it for my garden so I just get about 10 bales in the spring and I kind of let it just sit around. Sometimes I'll take a bale out and let it get wet and start breaking down and that's what we've done with this one. So another thing you can put on these uh, is blood meal. You can use some blood meal. I have some here. You don't want to touch this with your hands, and you don't really want to bleed this stuff either. Where do you get the blood meal? You can buy packaged blood meal. Like that. Packaged so blood meal? Store. Seed blood store. Seed store. Yeah. Let's just put a bunch of that in there. And we're going to put some more browns on it. Well, actually, it's wet at first. Wet it? Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Why don't you want to touch the blood meal? Well, biohazard. Biohazard. Okay. Yeah, I just don't think you want to touch blood if you don't have to without gloves. Got it. <laughs> oh, here. Are you sure you don't want to? <laughs> now as we're getting down to the bottom of this pile here, you'll see that there is some finished compost at the bottom here that we're going to use in our beds. But we're still going to build this pile as high as we can. Some new stuff I'll put over here. And kind of level that out a little bit there. Yeah, it's starting to look like compost here, especially right there. Oh yeah, and we're going to put another layer of alfalfa on here. This is what you're talking about, the final... This starts looking like final compost. Oh, look at all this stuff in there. Yeah, that's good stuff to add to your garden. Yeah. Very good stuff to add to your beds, which I intend to do. You want to put this up? Yeah. Top.
uh, get, just make it so that we can get into this other piece here to put in there. So a little oh. bit more off the top there. That stuff needs to break down some more. Stuff. We're going to take some of this stuff here and we're going to move it over to the other side and then we're going to take this panel and stick it here. So that's the old Oh, we're trying to move the panel yeah. to over there? Yep. Oh, so you want to take all this and put it on top or just... No, we're not going to even move it. We're just going to take a little bit here and just take it so we can get this panel in here and leave that oh, right okay. there. Okay, I see. Take this so the panel will stay. Okay. Looked at some of the alfalfa from before. So this is just wired on here with a couple of wires through these holes onto these poles, so it's pretty easy to take off. I'm just going to come over here and try to do that without it myself. There we go. Oh, watch out for the manure there. You would just use wire like this. I can't find my cutters. <laughs> well, we'll just. They're right there on the black plastic. There you go. So you just need a couple pieces of this uh, nice little wire I use on trees and stuff. Just take a couple pieces of that and attach these at the top. And you do the same for the back. And so then you can kind of level this out a little bit. And we'll wait for a few days. I'm going to add some more water until uh, the water starts running out of the bottom. That's good. That's good. And we got some rain predicted in the next couple days, so that'll help some, but you got to make sure you get it wet down pretty good to get it going. The other thing I've got, which is Bob's magic elixir, so to speak, <laughs> is some compost or some manure tea, where I took some chicken manure and some other kinds of manure. I put it in a bucket with some compost and some decayed leaves, and I let it sit for about a month with a top on it so the bugs can't get in it. And it makes this nasty smelling brew it's just full of all kinds of little organisms. And this stuff stinks to high heaven. So, 
we're gonna pour this right on top. The other thing that you can do with this elixir that I do all the time is you can dilute it. You can put two, two quarts of this into a five gallon bucket with water and just fertilize your plants with it. It won't burn them. It's the best stuff you'd ever want to use in your garden. We'll check back on this in a, a later video to see how this works out and how hot this pile gets, but I'm excited. So thanks for listening.